You like Frasier or Friends better, Dylan? I I mean, obviously Frasier. I don't want to shit on Friends, but uh, come on. Spencer, Good shut call. up. Shut no, Frasier is great because you're supposed to hate him. You're not supposed to hate Frasier. Yeah, yeah, you are. You're like, he is a, you know, I don't know. And it does, it, it's unfortunate that they kind of, the last kind of few seasons, they kind of sucked, but. Well, no, you're supposed to look at Frasier as kind of this learned buffoon. Well, totally. That's what I like about it. Yeah, but you're not supposed to hate him. Well, it's not hate, but like that, uh, yeah, it's making fun of elitism. Right. That's what I like about it. And it's very physical. There's all like, it's cool how they did all this physical comedy. And I don't know. You well, want to talk about see, Frasier, I'll talk all day long. Did you see the episode where they go to the cabin in the woods? Yeah, in the bedrooms? Like, it's yeah. like Benny Hill, that, yeah. That's one of the yeah. best sitcom episodes of all time of any sitcom. That's hilarious. For sure. There's like a scene of Niles with, where he gets cut. There's a scene of Niles where he's like, he's ironing and then he's bleeding and then he's pet and it's like five minutes long and he doesn't say a word and it's hilarious. What else do I watch? I, like, I watch a lot of Maud. Just the abortion episode over and over again. <laughs> um, what I watch... Um, <clears throat> Uh, the Larry Sanders show, I just watched that whole thing again. I love that show. I never watched the whole series. I only watched it when only certain episodes were available. Like you could get- I'll get you my friend, episodes. I'll get you my friend's mom's HBO code. You can watch the whole thing. Well, I have HBO. Kind of a chump. <laughs> okay. You could have my friend's mom's HBO. I don't want your friend's mom's code, Dylan. I have money. All right. That's that's why there's only the old stuff on there. It's like old You're lady You're not going to have HBO. money for long. Signing up. You probably got the Disney Plus, too. Ooh. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Dylan is offering. You're too good for you. the the Ukrainian Simpsons hack site, okay? <laughs> He's offering you free Friends Moms HBO. Come on. Okay. Can we get started, please? Yeah. I didn't. Uh, know we, we do stopped. have a little bit of business. Do you want to do something? Uh, can we do a fun thing? Yeah, let's do business. Business. All right, here it is. Chris Fail says Dylan's awesome BLM protest coverage has brought you all a drink. Cheers, all, and especially wow. Dylan. Thank you, Chris. Hooray. I've been watching Dylan's ninety-five news reporter coverage of get shots everybody by the way uh, on twitter and stuff like that and seeing how it all goes down in madison and everything and it's been very gripping yes i've watched dylan get tear gas many times yes well I, you know the funny thing about it is it's not great but man i love getting tear gas oh shut up courtney what was that thing that you were going to say to dylan that funny thing that we heard when he was live streaming can you do the voice too All right, we'll have another shot, and maybe she'll do it later. What, did it, what is it? Hey, for everybody who thinks that I don't like Dylan, I will tell you that I was watching him live stream during the protests, and he got tear gassed, and I texted him at like 1230 at night and asked him if he was okay. Whoa, Matt. No, Matt, I, asked Matt. Was, I asked him if he was safe at home, and he said, yes, but I'm going out again. Yeah. You got to get a leaf blower. Have you seen those those people that have the leaf blowers and they're blowing the tear gas Man, away? Yeah, I'm just thinking like it could be a good career just go around covering riots. I like it. <laughs> okay, here's to Chris Sale. Oh, I got to pour myself Thanks, out. Chris. No, I'm like scrappy enough to do it and you know, wide enough to not get in that much trouble. It's great. Are you getting hit on once too? That makes one. Yeah, Courtney said that on your live stream we could hear you getting hit on. You know, ladies, you know what I also thought would be a good scent? Like, <laughs> it's called Riot Kissed. <laughs> what? <laughs> the smell of the revolution. All right, what does the Ooh. revolution smell like? Tear gas, like sweat and love. Spray paint. Okay, we uh, have to get started. Dumpster fires. Okay, enough. Welcome.
Welcome to Beer and Board Games, folks, where we're going to try and find love or something approximating that as we play Monster Seeking Monster. Monster Seeking Monster is a dating game where you send secret messages and you try to hide your monster powers. And right now, I would like to reveal a beer. The beer is from the Atlanta Brewing Company. It's Divine Bovine Milk Stout. Six percent. Milk stouts can go one of two ways. Bad or not great. Or In worse. my book. Or worse. Or worse. Matt, are you recording on all your devices, by the way? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Mm. Look at what I've done. I poured it like an asshole. Look at what I've done. I poured it like an asshole. Look at what I've done. Poured it like an asshole. So we get a new room code eventually, right? We will when we start it. Let's try the beer. Oh, the foam tastes like a root beer float. Oh, yeah, it totally mm. does. That's not bad. Where's your float here? It's not heavy, it's light. Yeah. Do you have that in the type? Yeah. Just in terms of how you choose the beer for the show. Most of our beer comes from Mel, Jess Jessica. Uh, this is a mail. bit too metallic, though, so I, I don't like that part of it. I'm conflicted. I don't need that back. It tastes like there's a big rye taste in there. I'm tasting a lot of rye. It tastes like bread. I don't, I don't need that. Mm, I'm not getting that. This beer is from Mel. Thanks, Mel. Uh, yeah, I just don't like it. I just don't like stouts or milk stouts or any stouts. I don't love it, but I'll finish it. I mean, I will too, of course, but. All right, we're gonna seek each other as monsters. We're gonna be monsters, texting monsters, trying to get monsters to date us as monsters. Here we go. I'm in. Hot lover, yum. I'm in. Actually, we'll let the folks fill up the rest of the rooms. That's fine. All right, we've got snack ass, hot lover, yum. Who's that? That's me, like hot buttered rum. Stock ticker, is that Matt? You know it. Obsolete and technology. T-Bone, we know that's Trevin. And we also have Loud Pants, Squidical, Soul Shots joining us. Ugh. All right, it's time to date. I don't know how to play this at all. You just send love messages. I'll explain it. We're gonna spend six nights at a house dating people. Okay. We're gonna send so each other messages. And if the person that we send messages to likes us, and we go on a date with them. Ooh. If they're a monster, they have secret powers and stuff. So you, the you, audience uh, is a part of this as well. We can actually date them. So everybody watching at home on the Beer and Board Games live stream is also dateable during this game. Nice. Yeah. And if you're date dating us, a lot of people. Deep, well, deep dating pool. I was going to make my name Cape Date. Mm, I look uptight, but don't worry, ladies and dudes. All right, each night in this house, we can send four messages. How long are we going to be here? To date us. So start chatting. Look, read the rules and do it. This was not read thought it. out it's, enough. Yeah, Dylan, read your fucking stuff. Can people oh, see what I'm writing here? Because it's filthy. Being a teenager with AOL instant messenger is really serving yeah, me well here. Yeah, exactly. Hey, uh, Squiddle, I'm trying to chat with you. I can't, though. You're here for snack ass, <laughs> Fuck you audience. I think I'm out of messages. I don't know. Oh, we got to choose someone to date. All right, Stock Ticker wants to date T Bone. Hi, sweet oh, ass. Yeah. How about some sugar tonight in bed? You guys want to read your text? Oh, it's too late. They're gone. Oh my God, you guys are dating. Yeah. No. Uh, oh, sorry, loud pants. Oh. oh. This game's kind of sad. Unresolved love. Yep. Soul shots asked out audience. This is oh, wow. weird. 
Soul Shots had a lot of conversation with the audience. Yeah, how did they get more? Gunfire four? reminds me of my dad. <laughs> Rejection. <laughs> Come on, audience. Can I call no, you Hot Lover Yum? Always. You had me at barf. Oh, what the fuck, audience? Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, the hot audience wants to date yum. Hot Lover Yum, probably. But you what? didn't date the me. The audience rejected me, too. I'm not seeing any dates here except Matt and Trevin. Hot Lover Yum's doing the best. The audience is doing the worst. Sorry, audience. You should have dated me. Whoever's in the top spot will have their monster powers revealed. <laughs> Yeah, because how did Hot Lover Yum do well if you didn't go on a date? Yeah, I just like texted some horrible. I think and... a lot of people chatted you or something. I don't know what's happening. All right, let's date. I got a lot of options here. I can date just about anybody on this list. I'm out of chats. I can't reply. Well, if you sent me a message, I've been my my shit's been blowing up. I've, I'm not able to date anybody anymore. I don't know what monsters have to do with any of this. Monster, you have a special it's ability. Over again? Huh? You date the same person you dated last night? I think so, yeah, as long as they say yes. All right, here we go. Let's see if anybody got some dates. Audience wants to date Dylan. Says, so uh-oh, bracketeering. I don't know how that's a pickup line. Oh, everybody wants to date yeah. Dylan. Big mistake. Sorry, you had your chance, audience. Stop trying to date Dylan. No, you uh, you could have dated me last time. You didn't. Oh, right, well, T-Bone. Yeah. You did accept T-Bone. That's All right, Trevin's the best, clearly. Yeah, Come he on. gets around. Oh. Mm. Stock ticker asked out Squidical. Hi, Squeam. Yeah. <laughs> Got rejected. Oh, oh. oh man. You think you could just get me? her over with, yeah? I think Squidical might have taken me instead of Matt. What's up? <laughs> oh. Gross. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, well, Hot Lover is first, T-Bone, then Snack Ass. The mother. Hot Lover Yum is mothers. Loudpants.net's mother. Ew! No, what? I don't want... Don't get this her is involved. A, this is a twist in the game. The mother receives a bonus heart every night. The child does not get a date. What does this mean? <laughs> this is how the game works. <laughs> this well, is what is bizarre. that entail? I don't get it. You, this is a twist. I'm not even sure what that twist is. Oh, it, all of a sudden it's my mom? All right, here we go. It's time to date. Chatting session is over. And now we're going to find out who's dating who. Soul Shots totally wants loud pants. Oh, Soul Shots. Can't find love. T-Bone wants to date Snack Yats. How's about yeah. it? Definitely, yep. yeah, we, uh Got it in the bag. Let's drag. You know, yes! that's because Trevin's the best here. He's just a good <laughs> overall. Smooth Everybody operator, baby. Everybody dates Trevin. Now, I took a bigger risk here. Oh, no date. <laughs> what does that mean? You're the child. You got a, your mama got what a bonus heart. What did that happen there? Though. What did they have to do with nothing? Stock no, ticker Matt, I out. was engaged Dylan. in something else. I didn't answer you for a good reason. Oh. Uh... Why'd oh, you do that, Matt? Damn. I just said you no know messages. I thought that was a good message. Now, audience, oh. you better, you better come through for me, audience. I couldn't have made it any clear. I was just like, you're dating. This is happening. My <laughs> <laughs> face might dig it. Oh, now it's relaxing. Wow, the audience is weird. No, oh, they rejected oh. you. <laughs> The audience wouldn't date hot lovery um. The audience hot wants to date people. Yum. Screw I'm you. Already, I'm already busy. Maybe next time. The audience doesn't like anybody. Ugh, they might date. They might date bitter Kevin. mistress audience. Oh, T Bone's oh. a monster. Ah, I'm a zombie. No, my. Oh, no, he dated me. But hold on here. Uh -oh. My monster is my mom. Your mom's a zombie, Dylan? Is that what you're saying? No, but it, this is like a similar change. So my monster is my mom. Just explain. Dylan, just stop asking questions. God. <laughs> I'm trying to learn and understand. That's always that a mistake, Dylan. If I've learned anything on Facebook, that's always a mistake. The audience now wants to date Loud Pants. No, no. 
The audience wow. is a fickle bunch. Actually, Loud Pants refuted them, I think. I know, cuz here we go. Oh. Oh, Ooh. damn. Come on, Loud Pants. Oh, my God. That's getting hot. Wow, you got. Come on, Loud Pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hot. I'm wondering if Stott wants to date Stott Ticker. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Matt, you do me wrong for the last time. No, he's not going to do you wrong. Matt rejected me. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, soul good. Shots. You deserve it. Who did Soul Shots reject you for? Come back for that as. Have as we'll give. Come over on my way. Yes. I thought I had that with Soul Shots. Uh oh. We're going to find out what Squidical is a pea pod. Pod person. A body swapper. That's cool. All right, I've done my chatting. All right, I'm sorry to get this game. Yeah, right? It's fun. It's more like just psychological warfare against <laughs> the people you're playing against. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, whiskey. That works oh, no! every time. Finally, you got it. Oh, T-Bone. <laughs> I lost one. You didn't want to get dated by a zombie, I guess. You were killing it. What's up What's with up? whispers? Bologna, cheese, and me sluts. I think you could use more murder. Wow, all right. Unexpected. Unexpected. That's me, I'm snack ass. I want to date hot lovery, um. That was a good answer. Yeah. We're gonna do a lot of kissing. Ooh, snuggling. I moved up. Oh, snack ass. We might find out who I am now, monster wise, yep. I'm a mommy and you're a mummy. Yep, I'm a mummy. Uh-huh. Everyone the mummy dates becomes cursed. <laughs> then so do the players they date. I've not dated everybody. It's the Blood Harvest Festival final night. Hearts are doubled. Ooh. If you get a date now, you're going to be in real good shape. Who wants that to mean date we get me? a double date? Yeah. Oh, we got lights and everything. Double date? Players. Well, I don't even know oh, what that means. Date two people? Get double points, or do you get to date two people? I thought it was just double points. Time to date. We got the soul shots. Stock ticker asked out snack ass. Oh, God. I like a gentle caress. Yeah! Oh! It just sums up your two relationship, by the way, like way too perfectly. Yeah. Ooh, well, you stock got tickers cursed. Sorry, audience. Loud pants asked out squidical. Oh, oh, too forward. Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, you got a bonus, actually, Dylan, because your child didn't date. That's right. Squidical wanted to date. Stock That's not ticker. happening. Nope. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Squidsicle. Hot lovery um and T Bone. You guys already dated. I know. Wow. Yep. Oh, nice. <laughs> now you get mean. <laughs> you know. You're I liked you. Gathering. I liked you, Trevin. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have told me about soul shots. I would have waited around. This war ain't gonna last forever. Later. Later. You didn't say meet later. Me, meet me behind the bar. Said later. Oh damn, hot lovery um. Yeah, I'm good at love. Yeah, I'm stealing hearts. All your dates led to this. I cursed all monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, we Hot tied? lovery yum and T-Bone. See, we ended match. up together. Yeah, nice. that's weird. That's weird. Decide, besides your last minute betrayal. Okay, I think this game is a big old dud. I don't want to play. I any. knew we would. Yeah. I knew we would end up together in the long run. It was good once. It's at this point in the show when we thank our patrons at patreon.com slash beer and board games who have bought us a beer. That's a special reward level that you can choose if you're a cool person. And I'd like to toast Lord Grimm. John Mangrum. Adrian. John Hancock. Cheers. Cheers. Hip hip. I got some business. Let's do it, man. Kath says, something good for whoever picks a number under 20 closest to the one I'm thinking of. 17. Seven. 
13. Um, Quit thinking. Your price is writing us. 15. Wow. Totally price is righted me. Courtney, what's the number? Wait, what, did, what did Kevin do? 17 and Trevor, what did you say? I said 17. Dylan? Seven. 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 It was eight. Dylan gets it. It was eight. Dylan gets a, sh a shot. I assume that's something good. Oh, I, okay. Shot of something yeah. good, Dylan. Oh, that's okay. a fun way to do it. Yeah, that is fun, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, um, I get a shot, and what else do am I? It's just from Cat. That's all. A shot oh, Cat! Thank you. What a Cat or Cat, whatever. Cat. Thank you, Cat. I don't, I'm not. Hey, we should. I want to know more about you. <laughs> well, she lives. Uh, I can give you her address and her phone number. Not and, address, uh, maybe like. Uh, does she live on the pac the Pacific Northwest area? No, she lives on the East Coast, not East Coast. Hey, she, hey, check this out. Jacob's what the hell ladder. Is that? Whoa. Uh, Matt, some, some Matt and I met her in when we were in North. Don't North. ignore my fun thing. Carlston. Is that a I'm cat not. Toy? I'm looking at it while I talk about what we when we met Kath, remember? Call the Jacob's ladder, right? Yes. Why it's do like, you have it? So the, you uh, know, in Amish a, country. That's a funky movie. Because because I live in a ladder. house full of wonders. Oh, you do. Can we, how about we all grab the most wonderful thing within five feet of us? Oh, Courtney, are you within five feet of me? No, oh, I got a great. Oh, that was good. I also have this strange pillow. Oh, that's pretty wonderful. Uh, I got this really cool, like, uh, dragonfly light that hangs on my finger. Wow. I got this thing and it plays music. Or it used to. <laughs> Whoa. That's cool. And I keep the funeral cards for my beloved dead relatives in here. What's this the is, song it plays? This is the only wonderful thing within five feet of me. What song is it playing? Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Uh. What? Oh yeah, it's that song. Oh, I gotta get the D10. I'll be right back. I gotta grab my D10. This is my Aunt Anne. She was really, or great Aunt Anne. She was awesome. Look at those sparkly converse. Nice. Dylan, this is a this is a beautiful thing that you've done to honor I'm your. Sorry. Dad. I do like it though. Thank you. I don't know. I like um I like shoes too, not to belittle my my relatives, but look at you got a cool can I see that one again? I like sneakers. Me ooh. Damn. These are snake snake skin sparkly sneakers. Okay, see, I'm more of a Vans guy, but um those ones are hey, fucking amazing. They would go well together. They yeah, could we could we good. could party at Hardy. No, or, but you that's know. a you know, that's a solid white boy choice there. You know, you think these would rock it at the next protest? They, yes, they would almost be too rocking for a protest. That's how good they are. Trevin, do you own a lot of pairs of shoes? A uh, ridiculous amount, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't like, man, yeah. I, I have such a struggle of keeping sneakers clean. That's like the whole problem, you know? That Mr. Clean Magic Eraser thing really yeah. works. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those it's are great. And it works for sneakers really well. For sure. You just described the conversation with a thousand black guys with nice sneakers that I've talked to over the years, by the way. Really? That's what they always say. They say, have you heard about Mr. Clean's? The Yes. <laughs> all right. This well, is, I wish we could all be together in one room. Me too. All right. I've got a, I do too. Uh, all my nuance a... is lost. I have got a note here from J.K. Siege. Rock on, blame society. And there are six people 
um, on this random five, sorry, five, five people on this list. A chaos shot, toss when appropriate. So I have a 10 sided die right here. I am going to roll it and the number means whoever gets a shot. And the number was 10. 10 goes to Trevin. Woohoo! Trevin, get your booze. And Trevin, get your booze. Trevin, get, get your booze. Trevin, get, get your booze. Got a Galliano this time around. Galliano. Fancy. Oh. Fancy for a man under uh, concert lights. Whew. Hey, Trevin, how are your dogs? They're uh, doing well, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm Quincy, glad I got to that one time. Quincy and Jupiter. Yeah. Yeah. They're, uh, yeah, we spent the day outside today. They, they are sleeping and not, we have not heard them, which means they're doing well. JK Siege says, nice, Trev. And thank Ooh, you. That's a cool background. JK Siege. That's oh, yeah. the uh, Union Terrace here wow. in the great in the great Madison, Wisconsin. It looks I, like somewhere in France. I have those well, lights. You know, the Union the Union Terrace does remind me of places in France, actually. Mm. In south of France, for sure. Like wineries and such. Yeah, you know, like those little the little the little uh uh city squares and yeah. I have those uh, those those lights. I have those in my living room now. You guys haven't been over to my house for a long time, so you don't know this, but they're going all around the top. So, like in the winter, it's going to be so nice in here. It's going to feel like sun. Well, why did Dylan go away? He's doing Not really away illicit things. He's, um, I have another around. thing. Dave DeRocha says, a surprise and a shot for one of the Dillons. Matt decides which one. Well, Trevin just had one, so I'll say Dylan. Dylan, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan. No, well, get out of it. I don't like that either, though. There's only one Dylan, and let's just, let's not perpetuate anything else. We're perpetuating. We're perpetuating. Yeah, they, just, they, they wear similar glasses. That's it. Yeah, come on. They're That's similar to anybody. I mean, I don't know. Their hair's even kind of similar. Look at your hair. Dylan, put your hair in the shot. Yeah. A Come on, bit. Dylan. Let's get I our know. hair there. Okay, it's let's go really over. really similar. Are you Irish? No, Scottish. He's not Irish. So did like those Vikings get your ancestors or not? Probably not, right? The Vikings? No. No, See, that's I am why a, we look alike, okay? See, that's I am all. an urban uh, mm -hmm. urban Viking. That's kind of what I'm going for. That's my new brand. I mean, that's urban a cool Viking. look, but we're talking about Viking blood here. <laughs> okay. And whether we're... Okay, Dylan, can you take your shot, please? All right, we've exhausted this conversation. And we're doing so. a surprise. Also, I want to be an urban Viking, too. It's a cool new look. Yeah. I don't think I could pull it off, but... All right, what's we, the surprise, Matt? Uh, What? Well, who's the surprise for? Dave DeRosha. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, so he did that in his surprise. Okay. Um, so the surprise is let's uh, let's do some uh, let's do an improv scene. Oh yeah. So Aaron, uh, you and I'll do the scene, and then Trevin and Dylan will endow us. All right. So where, give us a what are we and where or location or a situation or anything like that. Okay, I'll give the the who, okay? Um, you, you guys are both um, at a doctor. No, you're both patients. You're patients. Okay. In a cave in Malaysia. Uh, Dylan, your head is cut off in your shot a little bit. Okay, patients in a cave in Malaysia. Got it. Can uh, you believe they're making us quarantine here? Uh, this is a, this, uh, how is this even safe when there's more than one person here? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's ridiculous. This is horrible. Yeah. I don't even know what to eat. They said that fungus is edible. Hey, 
did I tell you um, two hours ago, I found this map. Uh-huh. Check it out. Oh, oh. Um, that looks like a map. That looks it like a, a map. It looks like a treasure map. I think it might be. I think it might be a treasure map. Where did you find that? It was um, under that pile of gravel. Hmm. Maybe quarantine just turned into adventure team. Three days later. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Look look at how sparkly it is. Biggest gem I've ever seen. Oh. Rock, smash skull, takes gem. This was so um, easy. This wasn't like the movies at all. They make it out like there's traps and stuff. Smash skull again. Oh, wait, you're beating me. Yep. Yeah, you're dead. Why won't you die? <laughs> wait, well, this is really. Uh, why you betray me? You die. <laughs> you're tearing me apart, quarantine. Takes jam, runs off, dies of sickness. <laughs> And scene. Here. Improv. <laughs> ah, Rorius applause. It was pretty good, actually. I've seen worse. It was just Rorius applause, not uproarious. R right. Well, it was I mean... like protesting. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Yeah. Says, what? Then she says, please tell Tarzan that a man with beard as his last name loves his beard and wants to know Balm or oil. Spencer, whose last name is Beard, wants to know if you use balm or oil, Trevor. I do use a uh, beard oil in the evenings before I go to bed. Uh, rub it in. It's got uh, caffeine and biotin in it. I don't know if any of that works, but I do use that. Does it make your beard really like active while you're sleeping? <laughs> well, it doesn't keep me awake, so you know that's a good thing. So maybe caffeine on the surface is all right, but not ingested. I don't know. I've never heard of that. That sounds great. Uh, we should have a visit from Baby Cookie. Oh, yeah. Dylan, are you going to stick around or are you going to leave? I'd like to leave. <laughs> okay, well, don't turn off your camera, though. Just leave the shot. I, I don't have ever anywhere else to go, though. Okay, turn off your camera, though. <laughs> Does he not like Baby Cookie? What's we don't get deal? along. No, they made oh. up, but I guess Dylan forgot. No, it's fine. It, baby Cookie's doing her thing. I like to watch. She's not going to steal art, so it should be fine. All right, here we go. Um, is there someone else in the room with you? Uh, besides Courtney? I don't think so. But Oh, no. Yep. Mm -hmm. There is. Hey, everybody. Hi, Cookie. You sound sad. Yeah, I'm feeling rejected. Oh, why? Oh, well, Petey was discharged from the CDC. They took out all his plasma, and they gave him all kinds of tests, and they released him, and he said he wanted to stay a few more weeks electively. Why? I don't think he wanted to come back home, probably because of me. Well, you are mean to him sometimes. Sometimes, you, I, I only smack him when he deserves it, but now I'm thinking I shouldn't smack him at all. I don't think you should smack him, Cookie. That's not nice. Why do you smack him, Cookie? Why do I smack when he gets uppity? When he gets chatty? When he hogs the bathroom? What's he doing in the bathroom? No, there's all kinds of moaning and groaning in there. I don't even want to know. <sighs> Banging uh, on the walls. Toilet I mean, constantly flushing. I mean, it sounds like it's probably good that you're smacking him. A goddamn mess in there. Well, just tell him you're not going to smack him as much. I think I'll tell him I'm not going to smack him no more. Doesn't that hurt your hand when you smack him? Oh, yeah, because I smack him hard. Yeah. Sometimes I smack him so hard, my hand gets numb. <laughs> and really he says, 
old cookie, stop smacking me so much. And at that point, I'm just seeing red. And then you can't even feel it when you're smacking him, right? That's right. It just adds to the whole experience. <laughs> I'm a monster. They ought to lock me up. Mm -hmm. Baby jail for domestic abuse. Well, you're just a baby, so. Yeah, that's true. I can only smack so hard. Yeah, I just can't really imagine that hurting since your limbs haven't even, like, firmed up. My limbs haven't knit. The bones haven't knit. Right. My cartilage is supple. But that probably gives you a bigger swing because you can really get that arm back behind you and just really haul, haul ass, right? I do a haul ass all over his body. <laughs> he howls like a dog. What does that sound Whoa. like? Oh. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I deserve to lose Petey the way I treat him. All right, well, I feel like you should tell Petey this and not us. We don't really need to know. No. Yeah, you're right. I'll bear my heart. Yeah. You know, I don't... I said, Petey, please come back. Yeah. Just Petey, don't... please. Just don't smack him, like, while you're asking him to come back. I can't smack him through the Zoom. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This has been informative, but I gotta go. Yeah, informative. I got friends. an important Zoom chat to have with my lover. Okay. Oh, your lover? Yeah, we lovers. Sometimes mm. the smacking fuels the fire. Oh, makeup sex is sometimes the best, eh? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get crazy here with the dirty talk. Trevin. <laughs> you brought it up, Cookie. All right. Well, I'm going to go off into a smack-free future. Please, get some help you need, Cookie. I'm going to get the help I need. <laughs> Control myself. My go with peace, Cookie. Peace. That's right. I'm going to control myself. <laughs> okay. Some time well, for see you all later. Bye-bye. Smack. Oh, who did she just smack? I have no idea. I, I hope she turns her ways around because all all that smacking, that's not good for Petey. Mm -mm. Not good at all. Poor guy. I mean, we know Petey's not an angel either, but still. Oh, yeah, he's blaming the victim. <laughs> I mean, who wants to stay at the CDC when you don't have to? Yeah, yeah it's not a great place to work right now. Someone who wants to get smacked. <laughs> you all know who's Dylan, you're a nine to five reporter. Do you want to look into this? I don't know what I want to do anymore. Maybe I'll become an electrician. Courtney, what was that? What did that person say while he was at the protest? What'd she say? Well, I'm, I'll never get Courtney to do it. What, so Courtney does a funny voice or something? Yeah. And she won't do it. She might eventually. All right, well, can you record it for me and send it to me later? It, it's not really that exciting. Aaron, it's, so, one of those nights you have to come over here. Contest, come on. There was someone next to you that was talking to you, and I, I couldn't tell what it was, except that we thought it was probably a troll. So I kept saying, what did it say? Justice for Tony, fire Matt Kitten. And it kept repeating, repeating. <laughs> I wondered if you, like, what that person was like. <laughs> can you say that again just so he can remember? He heard it, yeah. No, just one more time. No, Dylan heard me. I, I wouldn't say they were hitting on me. No, no, that was not that one. I'm saying, what was this person? Was he reporting from Mount Horeb and that was like the uh, grumpy troll? Was it a troll? <laughs> we're just trying to visualize what this person, they were talking to you, but they, they just talk like this my whole time. Well, you know, the munchkins were, were there that say, weekend. Like, <laughs> they it was were in the old, land of Oz. They went from the Culver City Hotel to <laughs> Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> Just this for Tony. Okay, um, we got a little bit of time. Are we doing a Mad Lib? I'd yeah, love some Mad Libs. 
This is a very limited instrument, but it's fun. All right. Do you guys want Shakespeare, Doctor Who, Undead, Monster High, Mad Libs, uh, Mad Science, Monster High, or Rock and Roll? Mad oh, Scientist. Roll. Oh, Scientist rock. too. Mad Scientist or Rock and Roll? Either one. Yep. All right. Heard enough Mad Scientist to do it. Mad Scientist, Mad Libs. How appropriate for Mad Libs. Here we go. When a Jackbox game goes south, we play Mad Libs. <laughs> Tonight, it's the Mad Scientist. Mad You guys, Libs. I like that Jackbox. They, they got a real thing going on there. There's a new one coming out in September. All right, we've got, uh, I'm gonna read some off. You guys can decide which one we should do. How to Get My Look by Albert Einstein. Um, the biography of Albert Einstein. Are You a Mad Scientist quiz. Lab Rat on the Loose. Biography of Albert Einstein. The biography of Albert Einstein. Okay, got it. Okay, give me um, a place. Planet Croatia. The, sh the shoe store. All right. And now give me a number. 69. 29. 41. 111. 10. 77. Occupation. Uh, Reupholsterer. Arth arthritis collector. Podiatrist. Interest. Firm donor. All right. Uh, an adjective. Crusty. Ooh. R r mm. Slutty. Give me a color. Blue. Hot pink. Monkey brown. That'd be a good parody show of Murphy Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Just a chimp trying to make it in the yes. news business. <laughs> Adjective. Butley. What? Mutley? Butley. Butley? It's like a butt. That's um, sparkly. an adverb, but. Creased. T -t Torn it. Crinkly. I'm not sure what an adjective is all the time. Grandpa-esque. All right. Um, an adverb. Lustily. Swimmingly. Keep on going. I got two adverbs. Manly. Grudgingly. Grudgingly. Folks, give me an adverb. Um, give me, you guys, give me a plural Angrily. noun. Angrily. What plural noun? The sodomites. Facts. Jerks. Gang Wimples. bangers. Wimples. Wimpletons. More than one Wimpleton. All Cookies. Right. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Um. Keep on going with ad I mean adverbs, folks. They'll get to it. Uh, verb past tense. Pissed. Smelt. Swum. Okay. Danced. I got that. Um, Run na it. Noun. Boulder. Candle. Baby. Beefcake. All right. Uh, I know, I get it. Um, hold on, I got the nouns. I am seeing all of your adverbs now. Um, give me more nouns. Seed pod. Horse okay, hand. Liquors. On. That, that was really good, hold on, I gotta write that down. Okay, give me part of the body. Temple. Penis. Bunion. Penis temple. Okay, great, thank Eyelid. you. Eyelid. Under butt. Um, hold on. Okay, and a place. Taint. Taint. <laughs> Thailand. Taintland. Uh, sewer. Boom, boom. Zealand. All right, hold on. Wait, what tank. did you just say? Boom, boom, Zealand? Yeah. Okay. It's probably Hard not to good. that up. Hard on. Uh, hard on. Hold on, I mean. Uh, I'm going to get an adverb. Regrettably. Swimmingly. OK. 
okay, most people didn't put adverbs. I don't. Are you guys all drunk? <laughs> what? There's like three L Y words, and the rest are all just like. Okay. Um. How's my internet doing? Great. Whoever you're getting it from is doing a great job. No, I'm doing it from legit sources. That's weird. Yeah, no, I wasn't happy about it. Oh. Uh, okay. Real place coming up. Here we go. The biography of Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein was born in the shoe store in Germany in the year 18111. He grew up to be a genius reupholsterer with a slutty monkey brown head of hair and a priest sense of humor. Even though he was lustily smart, the people who knew him thought he acted pretty drunkenly. He was notorious for losing plural nouns and forgetting the wimples in his equation, equations. And forgetting the wimples in his equations. Einstein became famous for inventing things like E equals MC swum, the theory of baby, and the quantum beefcake of light. In 1921, he won the Nobel seed pod in physics. After his death in 1955, Einstein's penis temple was donated to the Boom Boom Zealand Medical Center. Pretty good. <laughs> Wait, so for plural nouns, someone said plural nouns? You did. I thought you did. I didn't say that. <laughs> I think I was just confused in repeating Somebody things. said plural nouns, and I was like, all right, that's a plural noun. It must have been Trevin. <laughs> I think Aaron said plural nouns, and he heard it echoing his I did not do that. I would never do that. <laughs> I got the story of Frankenstein. Who is <laughs> science fair winners? Oh, this has person in the room. That'll be Can good. we just do a, sh is there a short one? Uh, that was fun, man. I could do that all night. Yeah, the science fair winners is pretty short. <laughs> okay, quickly, quickly. All right, folks. I'm going to let the folks give us a city. You guys give me an adverb. City, folks. Adverbs. Yeah. Stupidly. Uncontestedly. Keep going. Homophobically. Oddly. Dylan, you're not saying actual words. You can't just make up words. Homophobically is an adverb. Oh, I thought you... But I Matt doesn't that. know that word. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that word. <laughs> He's such a good person. Uh, adjective. Uh, Creamy. Slonian. Caucasian. Sweet. Swedish. All right, all right. Bitchy. Uh, person in the room. Matt. Dylan. Female. Matt. Female. Dylan. Courtney. All right. I'm. I'm in. I don't know. I can't win that one against Courtney. I guess. Uh, noun. McDonald's. Beer bottle. McDonald's. <laughs> okay, McDonald's. <laughs> Silly word. What? Rumpus. Hitty caca. Okay, got it. Lack uh, of the do. Person in the room, male. Dylan. Dylan. Brogan. Dylan. Of course, of course. We'll, we'll put Dylan Brogan. Um, adjective. Quirky. Dylan esque. And verb past tense. Popped. Ran. Fell. Squeezed. Solidified. Tumbled. Punched. Hunged. All right. Uh, person in room. Trevin. Okay. And verb ending in ing. Squeezing. Fucking. Squeezing. Love making. G All right, no, that's good. Justifying. Uh, number? 40. 99. 
zero. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, color? Orange. Monkey Aww. brown. Monkey brown. Adjective? Sparkly. Combustible. Stale. Dry. Okay, and noun? And an adjective. Uh, time mover. Uh, sh a shelf. Plant. <laughs> Throw rug. Nina, Nina, Nina Temple Raston. Flag. She's an NPR host. She's a noun. What? Nina what? Temple Raston? She is? Yeah. All right, whatever. Um, let me just get the cities these guys mentioned and we'll be ready to go. The best city is definitely Erie, Pennsylvania. I don't know if this was meant to be a city, but I'm making it one. Um, okay. Thanks for your submissions. Announcement, the science fair winners. Thank you all for participating in the Corroded Penis Bolt Middle School Science Fair. Everyone worked very homophobically on their projects, and it shows. <laughs> we will now announce the first, second, and Caucasian place winners. Oh, Courtney won first place for her miniature erupting McDonald's, which was a model of the largest volcano in history. Mount what? Dylan Brogan got second place for his super quirky miniature solar system in which all the planets popped in circles. Trevin was given a third place ribbon for love making an ant farm using sand and zero <laughs> tiny monkey brown ants. That's it for the stale annual science fair. We'll see you next bro rug for another round of Nina Tempest drag science experiments. <laughs> Temple Rastin. So oh, sorry, need a temple rasting. So Trevin got third place for fucking an empty ant farm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I mean, really. Mine sounded legitimate. <laughs> My solar system popped. <laughs> All right. I really want to visit Mount What? <laughs> okay. Folks. Folks, we had a good time tonight. <laughs> we, we, we learned what it's like to date people over the internet and then we learned what it's like to see dylan without a shirt over the internet <laughs> what did you guys learn I learned about monster powers. <laughs> that was important. <laughs> that was. Dylan, what did you learn? I learned that some games on the internet are fun and others involve getting rejected once again by Matt Sloan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? You can come on back next week for more beer and board games. There's gonna be a new episode, new guests, new games. It's gonna be so fun, you're not gonna believe it. And let me tell you, we'll be waiting for you. Good night. A ding, ding, ding.